In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ has risen. Truly, he has risen. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14, verses 7 through to 14. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father? and the Father in me. The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants. In this reading from St. John today, If you had known me, you would have known my Father. That's difficult for many people to understand. They believe that they are different. They are not one and the same. This is something that happens with a lot of people but believing in the, the Holy Trinity. The three persons in God. How can this be, many people think? You have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's three. If you have known my Father, if you have known me, you have known my Father. It is difficult to understand. It is difficult to believe. And this is where faith comes into it. Yes. Faith in the Holy Trinity. Believing that the three persons of the Trinity are the one God. Yes. Even Philip wanted Jesus to show him, the Father. Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? We mere humans find that so difficult to believe, to understand. This person who was standing in front of them, 
was God. Who did they see? They saw Jesus of Nazareth, a prophet. They didn't truly understand that it was God himself in the form of a man. God can take many forms as he desires. Yes. Do you remember the burning bush that spoke to Moses up on Mount Sinai? That was God in a bush that was burning, but wasn't burning. That's another little puzzle. God can do all things. Do you believe? Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Yeah. This man standing in front of Philip, Jesus of Nazareth, is God. We need faith to believe, to believe in the Holy Trinity, that you could have three individuals, but yet one. Mm. Jesus, Jesus. The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Jesus does not speak on his own authority, but that of the Father who is in him, who is him. Here you go. Can you get your mind around that? That Jesus Christ is God. Jesus is God. And we are reminded that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to save you to save me through his death and glorious resurrection. Yes, God loves so much the world. He did this. Yes. I urge you all to pray to the Holy Spirit to help you in your unbelief, to have faith, yes, to have faith. And when you pray, give God the glory for all things. Glory to God for all things, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen.